Three people are under arrest after a human trafficking and prostitution investigation. You've heard about the arrest. Now you might ask what happens to the victims. WJTV 12 Shay O'Connor looked into the answer and found out there is help. During the week of July 22nd, authorities with Hines County Sheriff Department and Clinton Police Department focused on identifying human trafficking and prostitution, particularly in Jackson and along I-20. As a result, 23 arrests were made, with charges ranging from prostitution to procuring the services of prostitution to drug possession. One man, Corey Myers, was charged with enticement of a child to meet for sexual purposes. I spoke with Sandy Middleton. She's the executive director for the Center of Violence Prevention, which runs the tower, the only shelter in the state of Mississippi that works specifically with victims of human trafficking. She tells me one should note that there's a difference between human trafficking and prostitution. Well, human trafficking is modern day slavery. It's where uh, if it's an adult, they, they have to be uh, either forced or coerced worst into committing these sexual acts. There certainly is a difference between whether a victim is seeking help and whether a victim wants to cooperate with a human trafficking prosecution. We're told the victims and suspects arrested were from around the country. Middleton says this is a step in the right direction, considering how much of a growing issue human trafficking is. Dean Scott, the chief of police for Pearl, says with cases like the most recent one, it's especially important that the public and law enforcement be aware of how to spot cases of human trafficking. We have a lot of uh, support from our community, from our city leaders to uh, combat the problem. And what we've done is, is with our training with, with Ms. Middleton, she's helped train my officers. I have an officer that is dedicated to that, uh, to working the, the sex type crimes, and it's, it's been very successful. Pearl isn't the only city within Mississippi training law enforcement officers on how to spot sex crimes. Authorities say there is a need for more. If you or someone you know is a victim of human trafficking, you're being urged to contact the Center for Violence Prevention or your local law enforcement. For now, in Pearl, Shay O'Connor, WJTV 12.